Hey everyone, so we're going to do a little bit of 3D work on this design. I think it, it just is so spring, it just rings spring, this set does. Whilst it's snowing outside, I just thought, hmm, let's just, we might entice a little bit of sunshine into our lives with this spring set. So, I have removed previous design. There was a couple that I needed to fix. So I've just re-sculpted in those, but this is how I'm just applying um, Sugar Diamond over that previous um, base layer. There's a tiny bit of product that was on there, but I knew it would be covered by this core powder from Glitter Bell. So just going and building up with this core powder. No need to cap, nothing like that. Ready, tip of the brush tapping it into place making it lovely and flush each side wall comes down leaving your product in the back third where you like an apex no wiping all the time because your apex ends up on the paper towel so leave the product and pull forward blending it into that first bead let's sculpt this bad boy right we're going to take our first bead and place it at the free edge now the the bit that you need to really consider when you're sculpting are those stress points, which are each corner of the natural nail. If the product isn't applied correctly there, that's where it's going to snap. So usually if it snaps at the free edge, it's usually our fault. So before I care about any shape or structure when I'm sculpting, I will ensure that my stress points are completely covered. Now I'm going to be making a ballerina nail. So that doesn't mean that I'm going to scoop my acrylic into the shape of the ballerina nail. I'm going to pull that acrylic straight out from the side wall, straight, 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 as if I'm sculpting a square nail. Although my form is placed and pinched for a ballerina shape. We, um, if I was to just tailor the acrylic in, the side profile of this nail would look like it was shooting to the stars. Giving that straight line from... Um, the side wall straight straight out like a square it gives you that lower arch that is perfectly straight from their natural nail but the tapered um forms that are pinched in will give you that ballerina shape we'll also pinch this nail as well so i've started to build the apex with that bead left the product in the back and walked the front of it down making sure that the product is nice and even all over and then we're going in to do the cuticle Ready? Boom, we're on. We're gonna go above and behind, tap, tap, wipe, stretching it across that cuticle, straight down and then painting it in. The hard work was already done. We've done the apex. That is just my little teeny tiny cuticle bead. Once that's ready to pinch, you wanna test it with your thumbs, make sure it's not too sticky. If I was to just put a pinching tool on, it would hit the widest points of this nail and wouldn't really pinch it into that ballerina. So I'm going to shape it with my thumb around that form um, and before putting my pinching tools on. Okay, you don't want it to cave. So as long as it's not um, caving in, you're ready to roll. Right, now the bit that we're really here for, these beautiful pastel petals. Now, this is completely inspired by Glam Susie. She creates um, little petals and flowers. Um, she's on Instagram. I'm going to add her link because um, it's amazing. So if you're not amazing yourself at 3D, I'm definitely not. It's not my strongest area, but something that I do have to keep pushing with. Um, you can buy from her as well. She has a little online shop, so you can buy pre-made petals like these. Not like these, a hundred times better than these ones. But you kind of get the gist. Um, and she's got a fab Instagram page to go and check out as well. So yeah, Glam Susie. I'm sure you all already know about her, but this is a take on her beautiful work. So I'm going in with my 3D brush, which is available on the website. Um, and I'm dipping it into my white powder and then dipping it into, um, what is that? Tiffany Teal? Don't hate me because it's Tiffany Teal. This is like rocking horse shit. You can't get hold of this stuff. Um, it, yeah, it's like crack maybe. Yeah, everybody wants it. 
I got it. I could, maybe I could be, maybe I could start dealing. Um, but yeah, it is beautiful. Although Annabelle has brought out something that's so super similar. So go and grab that one if you can't wait for Tiffany. Um, so yeah, so I'm double dipping and picking up both of those teeny tiny beads, placing them on and fanning them out. I pull the front and then fan the back of it. This one just left me with a little bit of a gap. I didn't pick up enough. So no need to stress. I'm just going to pick up another squidge of white and I'm going to fill it. Although I do like the gap, but it's not good enough. So I'm just going to go in. No stress. It's all fine. Didn't show my client my stressy face. Um, just kept it cool and continued. So pulling that first bit forward and then stretching out and flattening down. That's the, I think my favourite colour on this is the yellow one. Every single colour I am going to list in the description box. Every colour, everything. Um, look at my fan people as well. This was an inspiration from my acrylic brush. I haven't finished the set. I have got teeny tiny trotters on the rest of them. My nails are awful. I bite so bad. I know, I know. Please don't hate on me, but I do. Um, always have done. Remember that stop and grow stuff? My mum used to get it, stick it in my fingers. I fucking love that stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just a nibbler when I haven't got acrylics on. But I am going to be sticking them on soon. And they're going to be this beautiful rainbow set. They'll be done this week. I'll try and film it. But you know, I'm a bit shit at that. But I will try. If anything, I will have an amazing picture up on Instagram for you soon. Um, right, let's go back to this. Pulling it out, I'm just layering this petal as well. Um, just pulling it out, stretching it out, down, giving that little nudge in at the back of it, it gives it kind of like a little heart shape. Um, I can't take credit really, I can take credit for this, but it is all Gum Susie's work. I've watched her stuff and, and she inspired me heavily with this. So if it is like I do fear 3D, and I'm sure lots of you do, I don't fear it, I just don't think I'm that great so I will push myself and you need to just push yourself you can't really go wrong um most of the time when we think we've gone wrong our clients bloody love it anyway don't we and we'll just use that as a benchmark to become better so the next time I do this I want it to be better than this set so use each set to become better does that make sense I don't know I'm waffling you wait till we get to the yellow one. That is beautiful. But I think I'm going to leave you here because there's nothing more to say. Just place a bead, pull it out, stretch it back, making it lovely and thin. And I like to tap it in the middle to make a lovely heart shape. You can do whatever you want with this. I have used a different colour on every single nail to give that lovely rainbow effect. Um, let's just hope it brings the sunshine into this grotty UK weather that we're having at the moment. Um, I have gone and added crystals as well, so I hope you enjoy it. Lots of other pictures um, on my Instagram at the moment, so you know I don't record everything. Go ahead and find it. It's just my name, you will find me. Um, and thanks guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and always commenting. I love, love, love reading it all. Um, my kids think I'm a little nail rock star, so thanks for helping me to achieve that status within our house. If you don't already, please subscribe and I will try and be back with you again very soon. I love you all. Bye.